Alrighty guys, so it has been a few years since I've talked about PC building and especially building my latest PC which does hold the Intel Core i9-13900K with the RTX 3090 and for the time being this machine has been an absolute beast and I've absolutely loved it so far. But this year in 2024, Intel finally announced the new Arrow Lake processors with a 3 nanometer processing unit. So definitely for me that was very exciting and I thought why not get my hands on the latest and greatest Core Ultra series. So right here we do have the Intel Core Ultra. 9 version this is the 285k so i thought why not make a video of me upgrading my pc to the latest spec and ultimately showcasing to you guys how to build the ultimate video editing pc in 2024. so primarily for me i've always chosen to go with intel mainly just because of the integrated graphics now this thing is an absolute power horse when it comes to productivity and content creation just because of that integrated graphics it's able to decode and encode multiple different codecs especially working with latest cameras especially anything from canon sony uh, Nikon, like most of these camera manufacturers are using 10 bit 422, especially using HEVC or H.265. And between most of the processors that are out there, really the only two brands that can decode and encode H.265, 10 bit 422 are Apple and Intel, because Apple does have their new media engine and as well as Intel with their media engine for their integrated graphics. Now for me, the main reason why I'm upgrading from the i9-13900K to the Core Ultra 9 285K is mainly because my 13900K has been dealing with a lot of instability issues. As some of you guys may know, both the 13th gen and 14th gen processors have been dealing with a lot of issues, especially with instability and personally for me with my 1300k i've been dealing with a lot of blue screens just rather when it's like opening up applications or in applications whether it's games productivity content creation like literally a lot of my applications as soon as i open it up i immediately go to a blue screen so because of that i decided that it was time for me to make that upgrade to the latest processor with arrow lake and ever since i switched to arrow lake i haven't dealt with any blue screens or any issues so far so thank god for that but luckily with the 285k so far there's no instability issues and i haven't been dealing with any blue screen since then. So now when it comes to my new PC build, we are going to be rocking the brand new Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor. This thing was definitely very hard to get because this thing was ultimately sold out from most retailers. I literally had to drive down all the way to the Bay Area to find a local retail shop that actually had the CPUs. So right now, currently, I don't even think it's on Newegg, b &H like micro center i don't even think most places have the 285k just yet i think new had some stock but it ran out very very quick so we are moving to 120 gigs of g skills trident c royal series with ddr5 memory so definitely a jump up especially in terms of memory performance so that's going to be really nice to move to and we are moving from the geforce rtx 3090 to the 4090 when it comes to the pc components that we are using we are going to be getting a new case which is the lian lee lamborghini edition case which honestly I found very interesting and very kind of attractive at that price point just because you are getting a really cool case with some really cool features. It does have an 8 inch display on the back of it to actually showcase either your CPU temperature or your GPU temperature and also the speed that it's going at and it is a very limited edition PC case. There's only 6,498 that are made in the world and I believe the number that we got was 414 so definitely a really cool limited edition piece that we can have to our PC. Alrighty guys so right here we do have the PC as you guys can tell we do have the lamborghini symbol right down there so again the pc is complete and it looks really really nice i'm a huge fan of the colorway i think it looks really clean personally for me it reminds me of like a tron legacy theme because we got like the white blue and black theme going on so it definitely gives me that kind of vibe but so far absolutely loving this build and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below so when it comes to the sneak bench scores between the 13900k and the 285k when it comes to multi-core performance the 13900k got 34,653, whereas the intel core ultra 9 285k got 35,293. So definitely a little bit more in performance with the 285K compared to 13900K. And when it comes to single core performance, the 13900K scored 2093, whereas the 285K scored 2166. So definitely a little bit more performance in there. So when it comes to performance between the 13900K and the 285K, there's definitely a little bit of an increase in performance, but it's not super significant, but it is significant enough where it is justified that there is a reason why you may want to upgrade. Now, obviously this video is titled for video editors and content creators. So for those who are working with programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, again, you're not going to be dealing with many issues whatsoever because especially with the Arrow Lakes integrated graphics, 
dealing with H.265 or HEVC footage is really, really easy to use, especially even with working with 10 bit 422. It is super smooth in terms of playback, and especially dealing with cameras like I'm dealing with right now, the Canon C400, and also the brand new Canon C80, which new video is coming up soon, talking about more about the Canon C80. Having something like the RTX 4090 really comes in handy, especially working with RAW codecs, because it can easily decode and encode some of those products. So definitely when it comes to my RAW clips, the RTX 4090 comes into play, and when it comes to my H.265 HEVC clips, that's where the integrated graphics comes into play. So it's a really nice combination to have both the integrated graphics working for those really simple decode and encode tasks, and obviously having my RTX 4090 for some of those more intensive RAW codecs. Now ultimately, I'm sure many of you guys are asking whether or not it's worth upgrading to the Intel Core Ultra 285K and upgrading to Arrow Lake, and I will say for those who haven't upgraded yet to the 12th, 13th, or 14th gen processors, and you're still working with 11th gen or lower, I would say right now is the perfect time to get Arrow Lake, especially just given the performance gains that it has compared to those processors. But if you are someone who's working with 12th gen, 13th gen, or 14th gen, and you haven't dealt with any instability issues like myself, then I would just stay to recommend to stick to those processors, mainly because you're not getting a significant boost in terms of performance compared to it, especially if you are a video editor. I will say decoding and encoding codecs are the exact same from those processors as well. So I will say if you are 12th, 13th, or 14th gen, just stick to those processors for now. You're not gonna be dealing with a lot of upgrades going to 15th gen, but personally for me, I felt it was a dire need of an upgrade to go to the 15th gen processor, especially with Arrow Lake, mainly because of those instability issues. And now upgrading to the new Core Ultra 9 285K, I haven't dealt with any instability issues and I'm hoping that there will be no instability issues in the future with this processor since I am planning to keep this one for quite a while. So I'm not in a dire need of an upgrade, especially anytime soon. And guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video, talking about the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor. Again, this thing is an absolute beast in terms of video editing, content creation, productivity, even for gaming, this thing does really, really well. Obviously the new AMD uh, Ryzen 7 9800X3D has been the new gaming king, but especially if you are someone who is more on the content creation space like myself, then definitely I would highly recommend going with Intel, especially with the new Core Ultra 9 285K. So highly recommend it. And of course we do have a build right next to me, which honestly, it's been my favorite build that I've ever made personally to date. Just given the specs that we have and just the overall look, I think it turned out really, really nice. And also if you guys want to build this PC for yourself, I'll make sure to include all the links down in the description below. They do help out the channel in the long run. So if you are planning to pick them up, highly recommend checking out the links in my description to pick it up for yourself. And besides that, that is going to do it for us on this video. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy. Peace.